Okay then, so I'm here with the Ricoh GR3 again. So I want to show you guys my little rig for shooting with uh, with filters. Uh, this one, these Koken style filters, where you slide in the filter. So, and I piece this little by little, uh, buying parts here and there, uh, shopping around in uh, camera shows, uh, which they have two here in California. Southern California, um, this one in Pasadena, this one in Anaheim, and um, the both run by the same person. Uh, but anyways, I go there often and look for little things like this. So this one is a really old, uh, really right stuff uh, L bracket. I think it's one of the first ones they made. And the guy was trying to sell it for $25, as you can see over here. Um, but I ended up buying it for 20 uh, which is still good to buy. I mean, it's, it's, it's a really right stuff. You can't go wrong. Um, so the L bracket, of course, says you shoot uh, like this in uh, portrait mode and in landscape, like so. And then I bought this little Canon riser, also at the camera show. And this is just to rise up the camera a little bit higher. So when I mount the filter, it won't hit the bracket or hit the tripod so let me show you how you set it up so first uh, gonna, here's a little Arca Swiss plate so I'm gonna attach the riser real quick and by the way this Canon little riser I think it's meant for uh, long lenses for like a telephoto but I'm not sure how it works but it works for my purpose perfectly um, Okay, so I'm gonna line this up real good. I apologize if you can't see, but uh, let me change the angle. Hold on. Alrighty, so uh, I changed the angle for you guys so you, so you can see better. So you can see a little bit better. So I'll start again. Neighbors being loud again. But anyway, so I got the Arca Swiss style bracket here so I can easily just mount the GR3 on it with the L bracket but it's gonna hit the filter's gonna hit either the tripod or the L bracket so I'm putting this little spacer on top of it so I'll just raise the camera a little bit higher Okay, so that is ready to be mounted on the L bracket, which I have over here. And tighten it up. So as you can see, it's already taking place, uh, taking shape on uh, how I'm going to be mounting this uh, the GR3. But uh, the part is done. So now. Here's a GR3. This is the uh, Ricoh GR GA1, uh, the adapter for the uh, for the lens uh, for the 21 millimeter lens. So I am I am gonna buy that eventually, but I'm starting off with this uh, filter adapter first. So I'm gonna attach this to the GR3. Put that aside. It's on there securely. A little bit of a play there, but it's fine. And then this is just a filter adapter, which I bought from Amazon. So as we know, the GA1 has a 49 millimeter thread. So when you buy this from Amazon, it comes with a bunch of little, uh, a bunch with a bunch of threads. Uh, it just comes off like that. So now this, actually first what I'll do to make it easier, I'll just screw this on to the thread first to the filter. Oops, wrong way. Make sure it's on the right. Tighten it a bit. There you can see it's already attached to the GA1. Now all you do is attach it. 
and now you have a GR3 with the filter adapter like so and now you could actually attach the L bracket to the camera and you'll see why I put the little spacer between the L bracket and the GA GR3. So now you can see how the spacer works. So it just raises the camera a little bit higher so it won't be hitting the the L bracket or the tripod. So again with this L bracket I can shoot landscapes or portraits like so. And here are my filters. I'm just gonna put them on so I can show you guys. The filter on like so that looks pretty cool not bad right so next I'm gonna show you how it looks on the tripod uh, I'll figure it out but uh, let's switch to the tripod how it's mounted on the tripod okay so here I have it set up on the tripod it's one of my cheapest tripods that I have I actually had this one for well over 10 years it's a pro line uh, but it's perfect for the GR3 it's, it's not heavy at all so here it's mounted on the tripod with the L bracket as you can see it's kind of hard to see because of the lighting uh, let's see there you go that's a little better and if I wanted to I could um, switch it to portrait mode like so do it Real quickly, there it goes. Switch it to portrait mode. It's kind of hard doing one handed. Tighten it up, and there it's in portrait mode, like so. So in total, so minus the GA1, the, the adapter to the GA3, GR3, <clears throat> I spent like $30 uh, for the L bracket, the Canon little riser, and the filters on Amazon were like 15 bucks, they're the cheap kind. Um, so about $30 total for the whole little setup, minus the GA1. So if you're interested, take a you know what to look for uh, these I found I found one on eBay the really right stuff L bracket same one for about $80 uh, but I'm sure you could buy cheaper ones uh, and this little Canon thing actually goes for a lot of money I bought this for $10 at the camera camera show but on eBay they go for like $40 uh, which I'm not gonna get rid of this I was gonna sell it but now I'm gonna keep it because of, since I found a purpose for it uh, but they go for around $40 uh, and yesterday I took it out in the field just to get a feel for it and um, took some pictures of a little landscape uh, of a landscape in, here in LA and uh, I'll show you that right now but thanks for watching and have a good day